just felt, you know, we've had a night where we've, you know, had a call to worship and come to the altar and and find his peace. And then we've had songs where we've talked about being not being afraid and, and standing up. And so I feel this song, we're singing, we're kind of declaring over this whole night that we've had so far, the enemy has been defeated. Yes. The enemy has been defeated. And so while we sing this song, just know wherever you are, use this to declare that the enemy has been defeated in your life. The enemy has been defeated in your household, in your kids' lives, in your sister's life, in your brother's life. The enemy's been defeated. God has the victory. And so right now we're just going to sing this and believe that and know not just believe, we know, that's the thing, it's a guaranteed assurance that if you are a born again child of God and you are following after Him, you have guaranteed victory on your side, guaranteed. guaranteed. If you go out on a football field, I heard an example once given, if you go out on a football field and you pay to have the game rigged, and you already know the game's going to end with you winning, but maybe the other team goes up a few touchdowns. You're not going to be worried because you know you already paid to take care of it. It's already done. You already know you're going to win. So why? And that's the exact same situation we have with God. He paid that price on the cross. He paid the price of victory for us. So just because you may see something get you down or maybe you get knocked down or maybe you see something come against you and you're like, well, I don't understand it doesn't matter where you're at. All that matters is you know that you have the victory. Yes. And the end is you being victorious, you winning. Yes, and just as we sing this, just declare it. The enemy has been defeated. God said that he would make us the head and not the tail. And he said that he gave us power to tread on serpents and scorpions. So as we're singing this, we're just stomping on the devil that he's under our feet. He's already been defeated. Death has already been defeated. And Jesus won the victory on the cross. And we have the victory because of his finished work. So just sing this and declare this with us, even if you don't feel it, that we have the ultimate victory. The enemy has been defeated. And what they're talking about, I felt this from God. This, this camera's turned away from us, so I don't know who's watching right now. We can't see that. But I feel there's somebody watching right now. You're addicted to a substance. I really felt God tell me that right up there while they were speaking. I have no clue who it is. He didn't give me a name. And again, I don't know who's watching. Somebody that's watching, and you're addicted to something. I don't even know if it's painkillers, if it's something else. I don't know, but you're addicted. It's a substance, though. It's not, it's not just you're addicted to watching TV or something. It's a substance. I want you. I know you want to be free. I feel that. You want to be free. So while you listen to this song, I want you just to declare what they just said, that the enemy's been defeated. Been defeated. We're going to shout unto God with the voice of triumph because the enemy's been defeated. And oh God, we break that addiction right now in the name of Jesus off your life. We break that addiction. We command that demonic addiction to be broken, gone, and that person out there be made free totally free, delivered in the name of Jesus. Now you just listen to this song and you praise God whoever you are that you're free. You say I don't feel free yet. You start praising God now that you are free and you're going to be free. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Oh God. Hallelujah. Oh Jesus. The enemy is